Alright, here let's fix this a little bit. Maybe a little. There we go. How's everyone going? How's everyone doing? How's everyone? Uh, where's everyone going? I was gonna say. <laughs> well, you're you're going to the studio, to the art studio. Welcome back. Uh, I'm back doing uh, uh, one of my little paintings here. This is an eight inches by ten inches on canvas, on stretch canvas. Uh, it's gonna be an oil painting, of course, as you guys know that I, it is my my medium of uh, my preferred medium. <laughs> so, thank you, thank you so much for joining me, guys. And I just wanted to mention thank you also for for uh, subscribing. It really means a lot. I, I'm I'm very happy that you guys are getting some some value. You guys are sharing some of this value with your with your artsy friends and and uh, non artsy friends, also people that just like to. Uh, hear this, 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 this fellow talk and paint at the same time. So thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. And I hit over uh, what? What is it? Uh, seven, seven hundred plus uh, subscribers. That's that's really awesome for me because I I started not that long ago. So I'm I'm I'm, uh, I'm thrilled. Uh, Monet, my, my my son Monet was like, you gotta do a shout out, Dad. You gotta do a shout out. Well, I guess this is a shout out. Thank you so much for everyone, uh, to everyone, and for everything. And here we go. Let's do this again, okay? This is going to be a palette knife painting, okay? Uh, or I don't know, maybe not. Who knows? We'll see. <laughs> so here we go. Let's start with the palette knife. Okay, you guys? I'm mixing some. Uh, some uh, yellow here, some pale, any yellow will do, any, 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 any pale yellow will do, with cadmium uh, red, okay, to create this sort of uh, brick orangey. Oh, this is going to be so fun. I love making this stuff fun. I love this stuff, you guys. This was actually one of my uh, one of the things that I always, you know, like they say, dreams do come true. <laughs> this was one of the things I always imagined myself doing. Uh, I didn't see the the, the the difficult aspect of it, <laughs> the learning curve and all that, but uh, but I'm so glad that I get to do this. I'm, I'm very, uh, I'm very blessed that way. And sometimes I forget about it. You know, sometimes I'm like, oh man, I got to do all these paintings, blah blah blah. And I got some commissions to finish, and then I get overwhelmed. But um, my wife is pretty cool with me. She's like, she's like, hey, don't forget, this is a, this is a blessing. So she kind of reels me back into my, my, uh, my consciousness, no. Back into consciousness. So, I'm just saying uh, for those of you who are who are artists out there and and are you know going through through your day, kind of like man, I wish I had more. Um, I don't know if I could paint for a living and and or or have more commissions coming in or whatever. The, it, it, it's it, it's always there's always something that that you will not enjoy <laughs> from it so i guess what i'm saying is is savor savor every moment wherever you are you know it's kind of like what people used to tell me savor every moment of your 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 son um when when he's a little kid you know when he's a baby because they grow up very fast and i was like yeah 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 leave me alone I don't need your advice, right? And as time as time goes by, I'm like, oh man, like he's growing so fast. I really need to, you know. And then you get sad some days, and you're like, oh man, I want to be, uh, I don't know, savor that moment more. Or what the hell was I thinking? I should have been home more often, or you know. <laughs> but it's all part of it, no? <laughs> I don't want to take you guys through a, through a little sad moment because this place is all about happiness and laughter. So, 
Because you know why? That's what life is supposed to be. Life, many times we see it very difficult. We see it with this, with this, you know, very uh, uh, hard to 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 bear. You know, it becomes this. Uh, intense thing right that, that, that. And, and it really of course it's 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 uh there's things in life that happen to people that that you know we challenges and in different ways you know in many different ways but um i also have experienced that that many of what we, we go through is uh, due to here I go. <laughs> to our uh, excessive thinking, our inability to 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 allow things to just be, you know, to to and, and many people confuse this this way of thinking with with um, being passive, right? Being like, oh, you know, it's, it doesn't. It's, I that used to happen to me a lot, you know, when I started first understanding this uh and it, this is not you know it's 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 the life experience of a human being this is not whether you believe in something or not i think you you will find it in, in any in any discipline or any religion or or you know spiritual teaching or whatever in any sport you will find this this uh there's something, there's this universal truth. There's something about allowing, you know. We say in Spanish, uh, those, those of you who grew up, I, I grew up Catholic um, when I was a, a little kid. The first, every, every time you said something, right, this, this, this was certainly true when I was growing up. At, and uh, and uh, every time you said something, like, oh, see you tomorrow. You have to follow it up with God willing, right? In Spanish, you just kidding. And I didn't understand any of that stuff, you know? I mean, it, 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 it made sense, uh, but I didn't, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't something that, that, um, that made a lot of, um, uh, that took a lot of, a lot of, a, a lot of space in my mind, right? I guess that's a good thing <laughs> if you're a kid, right? Um, but as I started growing up, I started, I started experiencing certain things in life, right? Like as, as we all do. And I started pondering on that, you know, God willing, God willing, you know, that, that. like, why do people, why do people say that? Why do I, why do I say that? Well, not, not necessarily, I mean, it's kind of more old traditional, you know, uh, uh, how to talk, right? That, that's something my, my grandma used to say and my mom, but um, people still say it, but it's more of a, an old you know, tradition in Mexico anyways. And, and here too. I mean, I've, I've grown up here most of my life now. So, uh, so I started pondering, what, what's this whole God willing, right? And at a certain point, I started realizing that that uh, And this is this is not <laughs> some uh, uh, religious idea or anything like that or spiritual idea or whatever whatever you want to call it. I think this is just life in general. You know, whatever whatever we believe or don't believe or it doesn't matter, right? Uh, but I started realizing that every time I said that, I was really just just uh, saying, "Look, God willing, but I'll do it. I'll, I'll put all my effort, right?" It, it, it wasn't it wasn't saying uh, like this painting right God willing it comes out right but it doesn't mean <laughs> I'm not going to practice and do my best right and I think that that it was sort of a way say to say uh, I'll I'll leave the, the parts that I can do to a higher power right to a, to a higher uh, yeah to a higher power the things I can't do. The things I can't move, step away because I'll take care of those. I don't need help with those. But the things that I can't do, I'll leave them to a higher, to a higher power. And 
that really resonated, you know. I mean, <laughs> when I was when I was uh, in in certain you know situations in life where you know you find yourself like, oh man, this is this is <coughs> excuse me, this is sticky, you know. This is this is going to be a rough ride. I I often remember that. And, and not just for something difficult, but for something as simple as creating a painting, you know. That kind of still plays uh, in the back of my mind. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. Got willing. And with all that I have, right? And I think that that... Uh, has played a, 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 an integral part in, in my development as an artist, my process. Because, because I do leave a part to that which I can't explain, which I, which I mentioned before, and it's not just me, right? This is something that, that many in, in artists or not artists, anything that you do enough, you experience experience the zone and the zone is a higher power the zone is that it's, it's pure uncut no BS power that's where the the starry night came out of I, don't, I, I didn't need to be there to know that that's where that came out of you, you can sense it when you look at it you can sense it that the artist uh, the artist was in because you can sense that from the painting, right? You can sense that that, that it was pure observation. When something is pure observation, and that's what we are, we strive through, right? We we strive at as artists. When something is pure observation, there is no error. There is no error. There's there's not painting a a hill or a tree according to popular belief, that's different, right? That is different than error. There is no error because everything, you, you allow everything to be. In the zone, you trust your instincts that you, whatever, whatever you've practiced, right? Wherever you've, um, you don't have to be great. Now, if you, if you practice more, well, those instincts will, will kick in even, even at a higher awareness, right? But whatever you practice will allow it to, to perform better. And that's why we have, we have not, just, not just the artists, but uh, musicians and athletes and anywhere, you know, you, you, you see people performing at a level where it's it's godly you know you, you see some uh, some artwork out there that it's just like how how and you don't really go how do they think of doing that you 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 you, you get because it's it's not something that it's like all oh, this imagination and that could could very well be part of it too but but you sense a piece uh, 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 Sort of a, a, yeah, it's peace. It's peace. Because it's space. It has to do with space because you are not there. You know, it's, I, I, I know it sounds a little but it's, it's not, it's not you trying to control the painting. So you create space. You allow something else. And I'm not talking about something spooky, you guys, okay? <laughs> no, I'm talking about you allow that which is beyond your thought your thinking process. You allow that to come in. In other words, in very simple words, you don't paint with your mind, you paint with your heart. And when you paint with your heart, you're not analyzing. Analyzing gets removed. Out of the equation. Gets kicked off. The analytical mind has no place in art. It just doesn't. It's, it has place in preparation, it has place in, you know, adjusting this, that, but it has no place in the, in the, in the, in the creation of it, in the intuitive aspect of it, when you are in it, when you're in all the way. 
So I believe that that's what attracts us, you know, to art. When we see, when we see that, we recognize it. All human beings recognize it. That's why we can't. Um, sometimes we go to a movie and, and we don't understand why something just touches our soul, right? And then all of a sudden we're like in tears, or or we understand the hero, or we feel like the hero. You know, it's it's because the 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 hero has done that. It has it has given us. Uh, that which can't be touched, that which can't be seen, and it can't be pointed at. The hero, for a second, and, and it's not that the hero gave us, gave us that. The hero gave us the opportunity to see that as a, almost as a reflection into our souls. That's ultimately what I think art is. When we see a painting and we feel moved, you're not being moved by the art. It looks that way, you know. The artist is serving as a mirror. It looks that way. In the exterior, it looks that way. You're, you're really, you're really, you're, lo you're really looking. You're, it's being reflected. You're looking into you. No artwork can do that for you. No artist can do that either. You're the only one who's got the power. <laughs> To, to to experience that. You know, you're the only one who's got that that genesis. Wow. That's why I believe that we all. Uh, I, I I don't like it when people say. I, I hear I hear some some uh, motivational speakers and people sometimes they say that 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 uh, you don't have it. Some people only have it, other people don't, and, and it's okay to, if you don't have it in you. Um, it doesn't mean that everyone can be Oprah. But, you know, what, what I believe is that we all have a, a special uh, angle at life, a point of view. And some of us can, uh, can share it uh, in a painting, right? And other people can share it with a basketball. And on and on and on. I just think, you know, some people write poetry. Some people, it doesn't have to be art. Some people, some people work in a very special way that, that they're, you know, any other type of work. Some people, they, they just, they give you that, you know. It's the point of view. I used to, uh, when I was a kid, I used to see some of the uh, masons in Mexico, you know, and here too, right? Uh, some mason workers, and and I used to be amazed of how they work, right? And not just mason workers, but but uh, in this particular case, well, the mason workers. And I remember telling my brother, my one of my older brothers, I just I, I love how 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 they work. It looks like they are putting no effort at all. It looks effortless. You know? And, and my brother told me, you know, it's because they, they're they high-end. You know, they're high-end. <laughs> he, he was serious about it, right? They're high-end mason workers. They've done it so much that they, they work intuitively. You know? This is not something that was just uh, taught to them. It, it wasn't a skill. It was a, a or, or 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 some artists who work and never get um, artists or artisans or masons, whatever, uh, who work and don't get. Man, I've seen some sheetrock guys not getting uh, dirty at all, you know, and doing you know very clean jobs and doing it so well. Uh, And I like seeing that, you know, I like seeing that. I know it sounds like weird, right? Like I said, no, when I, it's not like I go and I go to job sites all creepy looking at see rock workers. No, I like seeing that because you can see the attention they're bringing into the table. It's a high level of attention. Why? Because they, they do it so well 
The reason they do it so well, it's not because they put it in, in the back of their mind somewhere. No, they do it so well because they devoted enough attention to it. Or they know how to do it so well. You see that with anyone, you know, drivers, you know, some of those uh, race car drivers. They do it so well that they make it seem so effortless. And it's because they, they've put enough attention to it, so much attention, so much uh, awareness in it, that it looks like... Uh, Make it look so easy and it looks so clean cut. Even if you know they're doing something that now oh, you guys get the point. Anyways. So that is the awesomeness of that. Hope you guys enjoy this uh, short segment painting this little beauty. Um, I hope you guys uh, join me for the next one because I will be bringing some more awesomeness to the table, you guys. <laughs> stay cool, stay true. Oh, let me put this up. Uh, Right here, so that way you guys can see this awesome little painting. There it is. Look at that. Way too cool for school. Let me close up so you guys you guys can see the brush work or the palette knife work because uh, that seems to be something uh, that I would have cared about when I was learning. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you enjoy it. Again, my name is Jose Trujillo. Keep things awesome. Keep them happy. And overall, keep your mind at peace. Till next time. Bye-bye.